Hello world of the internet, the floating voice of Simon Miller here giving you a weird director's commentary on one of my latest matches. Taking on Fabio Romano here for New Force Wrestling. Take that headlock takeover, you son of a gun. Yeah, this is really just, if you've never seen one before, it's just trying to give you uh, a what's what of wrestling, keep you updated on my journey, because as you know, this all started on what culture. This is one of the coolest things I've done for a while. You know, catching someone out of midair and hoisting them up to hold them for a suplex. Now, I get it. You know, it's all about weight to distribution ratio, but it's quite a difficult thing to do. But it always gets a good reaction from the crowd. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear that because, of course, my voice is over the top. But it's definitely something I want to do more of. Like, it, it, it's something, not only is it fun to do, but it, it's quite empowering. And you get a real confidence boost off it. I quite like this spot too. Cheap stop by Fabio there. Gives me quite a good forearm. Fair play to him. That one really hurt as well. But then he tries to chop me. I'm like, nah, dude. Screw your hand. How are you going to have a drink now? But then, you know, being the sneaky little heel he is, he decides to go under the ring, which was genuinely perplexing at the time. I was like, I'm not 100% sure why, <laughs> why this man has decided to run under the ring. But as you'll find out, he had, uh, he had something in mind. And it's stuff like this which I'm now starting to enjoy more. Like, obviously, moves and promos are all good. But boom, he had water in his mouth. You always get, again, the crowd always responds to things like that. And I enjoy it. I'm also enjoying adding this to my repertoire, my second rope uh, shoulder tackle. Which, if you go back, there are clips of that. I, I feel like I hit it far better than I used to. I'm trying to land, land flat on my front. I'm trying to really throw myself into it. Kind of like a Bret Hart, Steve Austin, not a figure four, but a, you know, a move around the rope here. Fabio working my leg as he wants to do, then trying to chuck, choke me out. What would you even call this? The octopus submission? I don't even know, but you know, you, you see these things and it looks cool, but then it's not comfortable in case you're interested. There's a really, really uncomfortable position to be in. You wake up the next day and you're like, oh good, I, I feel nice and stretched out. Uh, I quite like hitting big lines as well. Again, it's another one of those things you soon learn. Get the move at the right time and jump out of nowhere. Also, my pants started to show there, as you can see. I now wear a thong, in case you're interested. First buckle bomb I've ever done, too. I've wanted to do this bit for a while. I can hit better spears. That's not the best. But yeah, the buckle bomb into the spear I wanted to do. And I've got kind of a new variation of the ups and downs, which you can't really see there. But I kind of grasp their neck and, and slam them down. Um, so hopefully I can get a bit more... Well, I wanted to make it more Goldberg, a bit more impactful. But that is another win for me. Being a massive nerd here as well, given that it is the title of the video, it's it's something I kind of want to work in. I know like five moves and doom and everything like that get a little bit repetitive after a while. But in the right situation, this is the kind of thing I want to do. I mean, I need to get him up a bit more. But yeah, buckle bomb. And then as he bounces off, I should have probably, you know, been a bit more uh, communicative about what I wanted to do. I wanted him to be more in the middle of the ring, but then boom, you hit the spear. And then you get back up, you start slapping your head, you G up the crowd, and then try and segue that right into the new ups and downs. I mean, it's a shame I haven't got another, another angle of that. Again, I really want to try and snap it a bit more, maybe do some kind of gorilla press beforehand, catch them on the shoulder and go down. I will say, I don't want to put myself over too much, I'm proud of that pin. That is a man trying to win the match. Again, my pants are exposed, which is embarrassing, but hey-ho. I will continue to up these clips as long as you want to keep watching them. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, subscribe. Also got a Patron in the description below. Have a look. I will chat to you soon.